direction of Eric Becker, the M Fanfare. Presenting Michigan's twirlers, Michelle Smith from Redford, Patty Guyman from Ida, and Tara O'Neill from Brockton, Massachusetts. And now, Michigan's man up front for 1987 from Freeland, Michigan, drum major Andy Purvis. chorus of the victor. Washington State. Director of bands H. Robert Reynolds leads the Michigan Marching Band in our national anthem. The Michigan Marching Band salutes the United Way on the occasion of its 100th anniversary. Washington State, and here's the kick to get things underway. A high short boot. 
coming down to Hasty at the 15 on the near side of the field. He stutters stepping his way over the 20, bounces off of one man at the 25, and then is buried by Anthony Mitchell, who will get the start at free safety on the 25-yard line. And back up middle guard and sophomore out of Fruitport, who has seen a lot of action. Played well last week. And he is a good one and uh, really a critical position because the middle guard on the Michigan defense, of course, gets a lot of activity and he has to angle left and right and he's getting double teamed a lot. And his primary responsibility is to keep those uh, big offensive guards off his interior inside linebackers. And uh, it's a big job, an important job, very tiring. And I'll tell you, Billy Harris, who is the starter, has enjoyed getting spelled by Mike Teeter, who is a very quality inside player. And that could be a factor today. Looks like a right leg injury, maybe the right knee, and Peter has helped off the field. Washington State goes on offense. Their backs are Richard Calvin and Steve Broussard. Now Calvin comes in motion. The quarterback, Tim Rosenball, back a quick three steps. Can't find anybody open. He's going to take off. Runs the ball up over the 25. He's hit near the 30. Fumbles the football. It's recovered by Broussard, who got it on one hop. Started running back toward his own goal line, but they'll rule Rosenball down at the 30-yard line. Now Rosenbaugh in second and seven from his own 30. Runs the option left. Going to toss it to Calvin, and he is hit as he crossed the 30-yard line. Moves it up to the 33, and that'll be it. Eric Campbell came up He's to make the hit. Had plenty of help out there from Anthony Mitchell. And outs in the game. One back. Rosenbaugh drops the throw. Fires it right side. And the ball is dropped at the 40-yard line by the intended receiver, Steve Broussard. And so the Cougars missed an opportunity to move the ball early as Broussard drops what would have been a first down pass and Washington State will be forced to punt it away. And, and John Colasar is deep to receive the kick. Michigan lining up 10 men at the line of scrimmage. They'll try to get a rush on. They're coming through. Oh, and the kick is away just barely as Arnold nearly got it. Colasar shields his eyes from the sun, gets the ball at the 27, looks up, field C7, Cougars, tries to split him, advances the ball to the 31. And down he goes right there. Bill Webb running in front of Jamie Morris. Two tight ends. Jeff Brown to the left. Derek Walker right. The only wide out is Wellborn. The freshman split to the left. And Brown gives the ball to Morris. Coming off right tackle. He fights forward and has it up to the 34 or 35 where James Hasty made the stop. Corte is the middle linebacker. Maury Metcalf the strong side linebacker. And the weak side linebacker is their leading tackler for the last two years. Brian Ford. Second down and seven for Michigan. The handoff to Webb. Quick hitter up the middle over the 40. All the way out to the 44-yard line goes Phil Webb out of Romeo for a Michigan first down with that 10-yard scamper. Oh. And Webb and Morris in the eye on first down at the 44. Quick handoff again up the middle to Webb out of an option look, and he's going to be stacked up for a loss by those two tackles, Downing and Savage, who that time trapped Michigan in the backfield for a one-yard Well, loss. they tried the same play, and they didn't cut off the backside tackle. The center missed the block, and uh, Michael Dames had vacated the area to go on his trap. Two wideouts this time. Colazar in the ball game, and here's Brown giving the ball to Morris, trying to bounce it outside left. He gets around 40. He's up the midfield. He's fighting forward for more yardage, and they have a first down all the way to the Washington State 46, where Alapote ran him down. With the ball on the left hash, first and 10 on the Cougar 46. Colazar split right, and McMurtry left, and Brown hands the ball to Morris, picking his way up the middle. Not much there, though. He is hit in there by Marvin Adams, the left end and goes down after a one-yard pickup to the 45. McMurtry split wide right, Colazar in a slot right now, and Colazar starts in motion left on second and nine. Brown, back to throw for the first time today, looking to set up a screen, does to Jamie Morris on the right side, he's at midfield, breaks one tackle, trying to break another one, and holding on to his shoe tops was Ron Lee, the strong safety, and he hauled him down for a one-yard loss at the 46. And 10 here from the Cougar 46, back goes Brown. Blitz coming, he's going to be hit and sacked back at his own 45 by Brian Ford. Lynn to snap the ball to Monty Robbins for the Michigan punt. Good snap, no pressure, and the kick is away. Tim Stallworth, the wide receiver, racing over, calling fair catch, and fumbles the ball at the 20. It bounces loose, and Michigan recovers the football at the 26-yard line. It looked like Phil Webb came up with a football as Tim Stallworth juggled the punt by Monty Robbins and Michigan gets the first turnover of the ball game at the Cougar 26. You are in first down Michigan on the Cougars 26. No score in the ball game. Demetrius Brown hands to Jamie Morris. He breaks one tackle at the line, but then the Cougars with quick pursuit 
Get four men to the ball, and Morris is... Now, football, Nine now, McMurtry split left. Colazar wide side of the field right. Gerard Bunch in it fullback, and Brown fakes to Morris, drops the throw. He's going down the middle post. Colazar opens the third touchdown, Michigan. Oh, he just beat James Hasty to the post. Called it in for a 25-yard touchdown catch from Demetrius Brown. Well, now there's a situation where Demetrius Brown read the blitz. The safety had come away from the middle of the field on a blitz. Brown read it, knew that Colasar was one-on-one -on -one with the corner, and Colasar beat him, and Demetrius Brown delivered it on target. So it's Michigan that cashes in on the turnover early in the ball game today. Goes on top 6-0 with 8.22 to go in the first quarter. Mike Gillette to attempt the extra point out of the hold by Robbins. Dave Wilde to snap it. The ball plays down. The kick is up, and it is good. 8.22 remaining first quarter. It's Michigan 7, Washington State nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. You're going 26 yards in two plays. Here's Gillette's kick. Sailing deep and bobbled back there by Stallworth again. And this time he just falls on it at the five-yard line. And so Tim Stallworth with those great blood lines can't find the handle on the football on two kicks. And wide to the left. Stallworth wide. Two men in the slot, including... Broussard and Victor Wood, but the handoff goes up the middle to the fullback, Richard Calvin, and he's hit by Billy Harris and Herman as he crossed the five and got it out to about the seven, a gain of two for the Cougars, and now they send Calvin in motion right. No backs, quick toss to the tight end, Leighton, he's got it. Crossing the 15 out to the 17, Eric Campbell chopped him down, but that's a gain of 10 and a first down. That is just a quick pop to the tight end. Back yeah. now, Calvin. Broussard's put out in the slot left next to Stallworth. Rosenball back a quick three steps, standing in there, throws short to Calvin out of the backfield, got it. Over the 25, and J.J. Grant wrestles him to the turf at the 26. Only setback, misdirection play. Broussard sweeping the right, being chased down. He's got a first down, got to the sideline, knocked out of bounds at the 29 by Keith Cooper. Broussard, one setback is Calvin. And Rosenball steps back to throw. Swing pass, left side to Calvin, hemmed in, but he gets through two tacklers. 35 out to the 40, cuts it back to the middle of the field. Out to the 44-yard line, a gain of 15 on the swing pass to the fullback, Richard Calvin, before Eric Campbell could make the tackle. To the right, Victor Wood, and back goes Rosenball. Quick pass to Pelham near sideline. He's got to dive for it and hauls it in at midfield. That'll be a gain of six. The tight end, Layton, is on the right. Backs are split. Here is a toss to the new fullback, Kingstead, coming around the left side. He fights forward, breaks a tackle by Campbell. And he's close to a first down at the Michigan 46-yard line. Lost Mark Spencer and Curtis Feaster and Grant's been injured much of the fall. He's out of the ball game now. Chains brought across the field to measure, and it's a first down for Washington State. A team, only seven seniors on the squad. The offensive line doesn't have a single senior. Paul Wolf at center is 265. He's a sophomore. Jim Mahalchik is the left guard, a junior, 262. Ken Kuyper, the left tackle, 275-pound junior the right tackle Chris Dyko 271 pound junior and Utley the man you just mentioned Jim 6 7 and 302 at right guard he's a junior flags down as Rosenbaugh throws on a slant the ball caught near the 40 yard line by Victor Wood that'll be a gain of about five Clinton is now the only setback Broussard is up on a wing left Broussard their leading rusher the only 5 7 goes 205 pounds quick pass to the tight end Layton and oh is he unloaded upon by David Arnold at the Michigan 45? Penalty yardage, a quick pop over the middle this time to late in the tight end. He's got it inside the 40, fights down to the 38. That is bent over backwards by Doug Mallory. That's back, Tingstad, a quick two steps back goes Rosenball, swings it out right side, caught by Broussard. He steps out of bounds inside the 35. First down, Washington State at the Michigan 34 is there. And here's Broussard running option right with Swinton trailing. Late toss. Swinton turns it up the sideline inside the 30. Bumped out of bounds on the far side by McIntyre and Campbell at the 29. Yards in its first two games. Back goes Rosenball. This time he's going deep right side. He's going to overthrow his intended receiver in the end zone. That was Victor Wood trying to race under it. 29, Rosenball back quick. Toss over the middle. The tight end, Leighton, makes the catch. Despite the coverage of Mallory, he's hauled down, but he's got a first down to the 23-yard line. Their own five, Washington State. They trail 7-0. No backs now. Rosenbaugh back, fires it right side, off the pads of the receiver. Swinton falls incomplete, and we have a flag down in the backfield. We may have holding. You wouldn't think a lineman would hold with those kind of quick passes, though, would you? Backs now, Tingstad and Calvin. 
Wood split to the left. Stallworth right. And here's the option right. Rosenball going to keep it. Squirts up the middle inside the 30. Down to the 29. Back to throw Rosenball. Standing in there on second down. Getting pressure. Fires right side incomplete. Out of bounds. And we've got a flag down. And it's going to be another holding call against Washington State. Matt back goes Rosenball. He's looking left. He fires. Finds a seam and hits Robert Stogner at the 25. He cuts it inside and advances the ball down to the 20 yard line where Anthony Mitchell made the tackle. 15 left in the quarter, 7 0 Michigan. Third down. Eight to go. And back is Rosenball. Fires quickly to late and wide open. 15 10 5. He splits between the two defensive backs, Mitchell and Campbell, and goes into the end zone for a Washington State touchdown. Extra point. The ball placed down by Myers. The kick is up and good. And with 2.07 left in the first quarter, it's Michigan 7, Washington State 7, as we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. And here's the boot. It's a squib kick. Sails down to the 20. It's bouncing in front of Jefferson. Goes right to his leg. He retreats back to the goal line. Let's it roll into the end zone. Covers the ball on a knee. Now gets up and runs out of the end zone. And they're going to call this a touchback. For a moment, they signaled safety. And now they say it's a touchback. Well, we'll wait for the officials to sort it out. First, our referee, William Richardson, called it a safety, and then he changed the call and ruled it a touchback. And that should have been the call, Jim, because the ball went through Jefferson's legs into the end zone. He went down on a knee with the ball in the end zone, and that caused the touchback. Very quickly, though, let's go downstairs to Warren Pierce. And I've got Tim Rosenbaugh's dad here. Lynn, that was a great drive. Had to be happy about that. Yeah, that was uh, real, real well done. I, you know, I'd just like to draw it out. More on that in a moment. Right now, Michigan on offense from its own 20. First and 10. Game tied at 7. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Brown turns with the I formation. Gives to Jamie Morris. Right side. He is hit at the line. Goes down at the 21. He got just a yard. Brown's going to go back to throw. Standing in there. He fires far side. McMurtry. Good defensive play on the corner by Sean Landrum. Who reached in front and swatted it down on the sideline. Brown back to throw. Going to run quarterback draw off the middle. Running room to the 25. And then he's wrapped up. Hit and fumbled the ball. And it's going to be recovered by Artie Holmes. The free safety of Washington State on the Michigan 28-yard line into the line with one setback Calvin three men split wide to the right Calvin in motion left and Rosenbaugh flips it quickly to the tight end Leighton and he's down to the 20 yard line with his sixth grab of the day before J.J. Grant could make the tackle 7-7 our score right now Washington State second down two to go and the handoff goes to Calvin he skirts around the left side he's got a first down he's run out of bounds at the 14 by Eric Campbell the backs are Swinton and Calvin they're in the pro set tight end Leighton on the right and he's got Thiebert all over him. Here's the toss to Calvin coming left. And John Herman missed the tackle in the backfield. Calvin cuts it up inside the 15. Gets it back near the line of scrimmage where Anthony Mitchell made the stop. Oh. Chance just missed the tackle, but it did force them into a tough first down situation. Well, the clock runs out on the first quarter at Michigan Stadium. Our score, Michigan 7, Washington State 7. And we pause for these words now on the Michigan football. And that's right. Under some pressure. Throws at the goal line. Incomplete. And that one was nearly picked off down there. It was intended for the wide receiver. Rich Swinton, I believe, was out there. Lined up as a wide receiver. And Michigan had a shot at that ball back there, Jimmy. A 30-yard field goal from the left hash. Here's the snap. Place down. The kick is up. High enough. Long enough. And it's good. And Washington State has taken the lead. Just 13 seconds into the second quarter, it's the Cougars 10, Michigan 7, and we'll pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Field goal to kick it off. He hits it well. Allen Jefferson will take it on the goal line, near the left sideline. Heads up field, finds the seam over the 20. Up the sideline, 25, 30 first, right through a tackle by Adams. Up near the 40, and Allen Jefferson is up to the 41, where he's bumped out of bounds. Washington State 141 yards to 47 for Michigan. High formation behind Brown. Hand off to Morris. Trying to bounce outside right. He does. Upfield 45. Puts his head down into the linebacker Alaporte and goes down as he crossed the 50-yard stripe. A pickup of 12 and a first down for Jamie Morris to the Cougars 48. Left. Bunch and Morris in the I formation. Tight end Derek Walker on the left. Here's Brown giving deep to Morris. He's got it all plugged up on the right side. And he's hauled down for a two-yard loss at midfield by Marvin Adams, the left end, who went unblocked on the weak side. Motion to the right, leaving McMurtry. Backs are split. Handoff bunch coming off right tackle. Fights his way down to the 47-yard line, and that's it. A little power-off tackle play for a gain of three. 
And the pros set in the backfield. Colazar split to the left. McMurtry right. Browns back to throw. Standing in on his own 45. Hit as he fires. McMurtry goes up and makes the catch at the 29. Arnie Holmes, the safety hit him. But McMurtry held on for a gain of 18 yards in a first down. Not only did McMurtry hold on, but uh, Brown had a big defensive end right in his face when he delivered that football. Contact, not stepping into his throws, and that time he did. Here's the handoff now to the fullback, Gerard Bunch, plowing off left guard, and he fights his way down to the 25-yard line, a pickup of four. Webb by 25 pounds, handoff Morris. He cuts to his right, runs into Alapote, the middle linebacker, and is hauled down right on the 25. Third down, six to go at the 25. Brown straight back to throw, blitz coming. Michigan picks it up, and now Brown is neck tied. Down to the ground by a blitzing Maury Metcalf from outside linebacker. He's lucky he didn't get a face mask, and Brown's lucky he's still got his head on his shoulders back on the 34 where he went down. Mike Gillette, who holds the record, will attempt one of 51 yards. His longest, 53, wasn't it, against Iowa. The snap placed down by Robbins. Gillette's kick is up. This looks long enough, and it is just under the crossbar. No good from 51 yards away. With 10.32 to go in the first half, Washington State continues to lead 10 to 7. Well, somebody walking by me, one of the officials said three inches. I would say about a half a foot. It was trailing off to the uh, to the left side, but it was short. And the wind was, uh, I'm trying to make up my mind here. It's been swirling. He really didn't have the effect of the wind on that particular play. Another six inches, it would be tied. Richard Calvin, three men split wide, wood to the right. Two others left, and Rosenbaugh back to throw quickly. Swing pass to Calvin, a one-man screen in the right flat. He cuts it back into traffic in the middle of the field, but gets pretty good yardage out near the 40-yard line. Woods split out to the left. Pelham to the right. The backs are Swinton and Calvin. They're split. Here's Rosenbaugh. Quick two steps back. Fires near side for Pelham. Behind him, incomplete. And to anticipate one of those, they're going to go all the way. Third down and six. Rosenbaugh back. He fires to the left side. It's caught. A flag in the backfield. Victor Wood is over midfield with a ball. Hauled down at the 48-yard line of Michigan, but we may have holding again against Washington State. That was a late flag. But it's third down and 16 now from the 29. Rosenbaugh back to throw. He spins out of there, runs to his left. On the run, he fires up the sideline. It's caught at midfield. That'll be a first down. Victor Wood with a great catch. Falling out of bounds, kept a foot in, and they'll rule him out at the Michigan 49-yard line. A pickup of 22 yards in front of Doug Mallory. Up 80 times today. Calvin in motion left. Rosenbaugh back a quick two steps, fires off the hands of his receiver, intercepted by Campbell. It went right off the hands of Tim Stallworth, who's had the butterfingers today. And Eric Campbell made a diving interception at the Michigan 34. And the Wolverines forced their second turnover of the ball game. Fullback in front of Jamie Morris now. And Brown tosses to Morris, sweep on the left, gets a block from Webb. Tries to get outside, hemmed in by Alaporte, who just put out an arm. Boy, they're doing a lot of neckties. Forced Jamie down at the 36, a gain of just two. Walker in for Jeff Brown at tight end on the right. Bunch in at fullback, gets the call straight up the middle, goes through a tackle attempt by Tony Savage, bites out to the 38-yard line. Murtry split left, Colazar right. And Brown goes back to throw. Left-hander pumps once, and now he's going to heave it deep. He's got Colazar open. Colazar juggles, pulls on to the football. And it's going to be tackled at the 11-yard line by James Hasty. Oh, Colazar would have had a touchdown, and he caught it cleanly. He juggled it once, juggled it twice, held on to it. Hasty was able to make the tackle, but Colazar goes 50 yards and moves Michigan into scoring position. Well, I want you to know that even though Colazar juggled that ball twice, probably should have caught it on the first pass, he showed tremendous concentration with that ball juggling him in front of him at full speed with a guy grabbing at his back. And what a pass by Brown. They pick up the blitz to allow him time and allow Colasar to get behind the corner one-on-one. -on -one. Colasar's 11th pass of his career of more than 30 yards. First down Michigan on the 11. They go to the wishbone. Morris, Webb, and Bunch, and it's the option. And Brown fakes the toss, going to keep it spin up field and get to the nine-yard line from the nine-yard line of Washington State. Again, the wishbone. Jefferson in that backfield gets the call. Power off tackle right, and it's plugged up. Well, Michael Dames just couldn't get any leverage, and Cook and Savage and Downing were all there for the stop right at the nine-yard line. No gain for Jefferson. Situations. Third and eight from the nine. Eye formation. Fake draw to Webb. Brown back being rushed by Metcalf, and the outside linebacker gets another sack back on the 19. Really pouring through on those blitzes. We said they gambled a lot. 
And so far today, it's paid off for Washington State with some big defensive plays. Though. Ed Colasar one-on-one with Hasty once again like they wanted. It's just that there was nobody there available to block that blister off the end of the line of scrimmage. Gillette will attempt a 36-yard field goal from inside the right hash, awaiting the snap from Dave Wilde. Monty Robbins places it down. The kick is on its way. It is long enough, and it is good. A 36-yard field goal by Mike Gillette ties this one up with 5.38 to go in the first half. It's Michigan 10 and Washington State 10. For all of that. Here's the boot. Hasty back there with him. And Stallworth's going to grab it. Now he's going to let Hasty take it at the 14. Hasty going to his right. He's tripped up as he got to the 20-yard line. Good special teams play by the Wolverines as they hauled him down short of the 20-yard line. It was Sean LaFontaine, the backup Defensive back who made the play. Setback, that's Calvin, and Rosenball back to throw. Got time. Now he's got all kinds of room. He's going to throw on the run. Got a man wide open. It's Broussard down the middle of the field to the 40. Runs away from Mallory at the 30, up the sideline, the 20. Gets away from Campbell at the 10. And it's going to be a touchdown for Steve Broussard. Unless, unless this flag back at the 30-yard line is for an infraction on Washington State. And it's going to wipe out an 81-yard touchdown. They had linemen beyond the line of scrimmage. How do you like that? Unbelievable, and I don't know how he got so wide open down the middle. And automatically, Michigan changes up as David Key comes into the ball game for Michigan, replacing Mitchell. And I would suspect that that was the culprit and why that receiver, Broussard, got so wide open down the middle. To McDowell. First and 15, Rosenball back to throw. Fires left side, and the ball is caught out there over the 20-yard line by the second tight end, Doug Wellstand, at short side corner. Rosenbaugh sends Calvin in motion, has one setback. It's Broussard, and he drops the throw, going short over the middle. Tipped by McIntyre, almost intercepted. The ball was dropped, however, by the linebacker, Keith Cooper, who had a great shot at it. Seven for the Cougars from their own 22. Rosenbaugh back to throw. Fires quickly left flat, and the ball is dropped by Calvin, who was wide open. Ran before he had it because he had wide open spaces in front of him. Uh -huh. He had an easy first down, but he dropped the ball. Yep. From Colazar deep, no pressure this time. Myers kicks it away high and short. It'll hit on the Michigan 48, make a left turn for the sideline, and bounce out of bounds. First half. High formation, Webb and Morris back there. Here's a fake to Morris, and back goes Brown to throw. He goes down the middle, and McBurkley's got it. Breaking to the near side, he's hauled down from behind by Hasty. Well, 23 yards on that throw, and Demetrius Brown, who had so many problems last week, has completed five out of six for 115 yards in the first half today. He's got the wishbone formation behind him now. Calling signals, turns, gives the ball to his Penn State 30. Colazar split wide side right. McMurtry left, they're showing blitz. Brown rolls out to his right to throw. The blitz is coming. He's got time. Fires for Colazar, but he had fallen down, and the ball sails incomplete. Looks like John lost to Colazar and Wellborn, the freshman to the right. Wellborn in motion now to the left where McMurtry set, and back goes Brown. He throws, and it's dropped by Jamie Morris on the near sideline at the 25. That third down pass, the Cougars did not come with the all-out blitz, and I think that surprised Michigan offensively. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash mark by Gillette. Monty Robbins to hold while to snap it. A little high snap, but Robbins has it down. Gillette's got it on its way. This looks long enough, and this one is good from 47 yards out by Mike Gillette. And Warren, he had plenty of leg on that one to put Michigan ahead. The only question on that, Frank, was whether it was going to go wide of the right upright. It stayed inside by, I would say, a foot, and it was really saying it could have gone maybe another 10 yards, Frank. That's kick. It's a long one. And Wood's going to grab it on the goal line and run to his left. And Michigan's got him hemmed in at the 10. Wood looking for room at the sideline. Is hit at the 15 and run out of bounds at the 18-yard line. The ball to Calvin. Drops the throw. Feels pressure. Runs up the middle. High steps it over two Michigan defenders at the 15. Races to the far sideline and gets out of bounds at the 20. After that three-yard run, he's back to throw. Getting a blitz from Siebert. Goes down the middle. A tight end has got it again. Layton is really hit hard up near the 28-yard line by McIntyre. Catches for 64 yards for Layton. And back to throw is Rosenboy. Fires to Victor Wood on a little curl. He's got it up at the 45-yard line.
Quick pass off the snap to Broussard, who was lined up in a slot position to the left. He's got it. Goes over midfield. Eric Campbell hits him and hauls him down at the 48 of Michigan. That's seven more yards. 81-yard touchdown wiped up by penalty here today. Here's a quick one to the near side. Almost intercepted as a diving linebacker, Keith Cooper, cut in front of Pelham, the wide receiver, William Pelham, and just couldn't quite hold it. 29 away. Rosenbaugh back on third and three. Fires short, near side, juggled, and dropped by the tight end, Chris Layton. He couldn't hold it. Tight open, and he's mad about it that uh, Rosenbaugh didn't see him. He was in a slot back. They had four receivers to one side of the field. Michigan just didn't cover him, and he ran right down the middle of the field wide open. Very Bears end up on it away now on fourth and three. Eric Campbell is deep. 126 to go in the half. Michigan leads 13-10. Snap a little low. No pressure. Myers kicks it away and hangs it high. Angles it toward the left. It bounces at the 15. Campbell lets it go, and one of the Washington State players kicks it right through the end zone. And there's a draw play to Morris. He's in trouble at the 20. Spins into the arms of Maury Metcalf, the linebacker, at the 22 after eluding Tim Downing the tackle. A gain of two, and we're getting a timeout. And McMurtry's to the right. Second and eight from the 22. Backs are Webb and Morris. They're in the eye. And there's a draw again to Jamie Morris up the middle. Pulls away from one man, but then runs into Ford and Metcalf and is hauled down on the 24. And six now. Michigan on its own 24. Two wide receivers to the right. Callaway is wide. Wellborn in the slot. And now Wellborn, the freshman, comes in motion left. And the toss is to Morris. Sweeping that way. Looking for blocks. Cuts up field to the 25. 28-yard line. Down he goes there. Short of a first down. Ron Lee, the safety, came up to stick Jamie. That's what's happened. With Michigan facing fourth and two on its own 28 and 47 seconds remaining in the half. And that kind of ball game today as well. Monty Robbins back to punt the ball away to Tim Stallworth. Waiting the snap. We got some movement in the backfield for Michigan, but no flags. The snap to Robbins, and he kicks it away, and he hits a dandy. Stallworth waiting for a fair catch. Goes back, grabs the ball on his own 22. That's a 50-yard punt by Monty Robbins. Well, now we'll see with 40 seconds left. No timeouts from anyone Washington State can do. Rosenbaugh back to throw, firing near side incomplete. Ball was thrown a little behind him, and Rosenbaugh had to throw it over there. By Doug Mallory, and it, and it appears as though from the, about the middle of the second quarter on, Michigan's secondaries kind of got accustomed to what uh, kind of different patterns the Washington State Cougars are running in. And he goes back, fires quickly, and that one's almost intercepted. Cooper read it again, Jim. We were talking about that earlier. When he throws that quick pop to the tight end, Chris Layton, if that linebacker or one of the safeties cuts in front, he's got a great shot at an interception, and it nearly happened there. The 22, it's a draw play to Calvin, and Calvin is chopped down at the 24 by J.J. Grant. Only a two-yard gain, and now Michigan will call a timeout with 27 seconds remaining in the half. I remember earlier in the ball game, Michigan got great pressure on the first punt of the afternoon by Les Myers. Nearly got a block out of it. They might let him kick it. Low snap, but he picks it up. No pressure. And Myers kicks it away. Low punt. Kolazar comes up, grabs it on the 42, going left. Good tackle. As Kolazar tried to get outside, he was hauled down out there by Langan, the Jay Langan, the defensive back, a freshman out of Port Orchard, Washington. Well, with 18 seconds to go in the half now and two timeouts on the board, I think we will see the Wolverines put the ball up. First catch, McMurtry left. Fake to Jamie Morris. Back goes Brown to throw. Looking, got time. Fires near side. McMurtry makes the grab. Steps out of bounds at the 43. That'll be a first down, a gain of 16. And there are 12 seconds remaining on the clock. Terrific arm. He's got a strong arm and can show some touch. That time he threaded it. Over a play 13 to 10. 12 seconds left in the half. Brown. Fakes to Morris, drops to throw, wants to go deep, getting pressure, and he's going to be sacked for the fourth time in the ball game. He is hit by Downing and a couple of other savages in there as well. There are four Cougars getting up from over Demetrius Brown. Calls another timeout with four seconds remaining in the half. A three men split wide to the right now. McMurtry, Callaway, and Colazar. And Brown drops to throw, a four-man rush. He rolls a little bit to his right, and now he heaves it deep, and there's some contact down there at the five, but no flag. And the ball fails into the end zone incomplete. I want you to know Demetrius Brown threw it 70 yards in the air from his own 35 to 5 yards deep in the end zone. The crowd booing because there was no flag as Colazar went down at the 5, but it looked like he ran into one of the defensive backs and they both stumbled and he went down. So the first half ends here at Michigan Stadium. 
with the Washington State Cougars proving very pesky this afternoon. It's Michigan 13, Washington State 10, and we'll pause now for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Whatever your automobile needs. 13 to 10, and Adams kicks it away. Hangs it high but short. Webb will come up, grab it on the 9. Heads up the left hash to the 10 with a burst of speed over the 20, out over the 25, and he's all down at the 29-yard line by the secondary in a moment. Michigan with two tight ends. Walker on the right, Brown on the left. High formation. Jamie Morris coming up the middle. It's plugged up, though, and he's shoved back by Brian Ford from the 30-yard line. He got just the yard. There's a fake toss, and Demetrius Brown rolling left to throw in trouble. Runs away from Cook. Fires up the sideline. Completes to Jeff Brown over the 40. And he steps out of bounds at the 43 or 44 in front of the strong safety, Ron Lee. Boy. I want you to know that was some play by Demetrius Brown. Rolling out left was hemmed in by the defensive end, Ivan Cook. Stiff-armed him, pulled away from him. And then while on the run, rifled a shot up the sideline to Jeff Brown for a clutch first down. Ten yards on the throw to the tight end. First down on the left hash now for Michigan on its own 44 and Brown turns, gives to Morris coming right. He's going to get loose. He's out to midfield turning it up the sideline in front of the Michigan bench. Hauled down inside the 45 down at the 40 yard line by James Hasty and Artie Holmes. That'll be another first down for the Wolverines. A pickup of 16 yards for Jamie Morris. Well, it ends now. Walker right, Brown left. One wide out. That's Colazar split to the left, and Brown gives to the fullback to Rod Bunch up the middle. He carries Brian Ford, the linebacker, with him down to the 35-yard line. Turns, gives to Bunch again. He comes up the middle, plows into the linebacker, Alaporte, carries him with him down to the 30, close to a first down. Bone formation now, and the handoff to Bunch up the middle, spinning through the line, first down to the 28-yard line, off the block of John Vitale, the center. Uh, tight end Brown on the left, backs in the eye, here comes Bunch up the middle, and this time... He can't deadlift about 800 pounds of Cougar defenders and three men in that defensive front haul him down after a one-yard gain at the 27. Born to the left. Bunch, Morris, and Webb in the wishbone, and it's an option look, and the handoff to Bunch, he stood up right at the line. Hit by Ford and by Marvin Adams, who held on and made the tackle. It'll be no gain and set up third down at nine. 27 they lead by three and Brown's back to throw lots it up down the middle the Colasar he leaps can't get it he was knocked to the ground by the corner though Sean Landrum and we're getting an interference call on the junior out of Long Beach California Colasar was reaching for the ball and Landrum just caught it kind of gave him a little nudge well that was the uh, back judge Mike Nevin he's from the Pac-10 right the Big Ten Big Ten Big Big Ten, Ten. Oh, excuse me <laughs> Wishbone formation now, one wide out. That's McMurtry left. Morris, Webb, and Bunch in there. Misdirection play handoff. Morris comes off the right, tripped up by Downing. That was thrown by the headlinesman out of the Pac-10, Jay Strikers. Oh, yeah, he's gone Michigan's way with the official. Wishbone formation on first and five from the seven. A handoff to Jefferson coming off right tackle. He's down inside the five, puts a shoulder down, and Hasty kept him out of the end zone. The corner came up to make the stop on the two on Allen Jefferson. Tight ends, Walker left, Brown right, wishbone formation, handoff, Jamie Morris going around the right. He's got running room to the corner. Touchdown, Jamie Morris. The Wolverines up that lead to 19 to 10 on the two-yard touchdown run by Morris. They take the opening possession of the third quarter, and they march 71 yards in 10 plays. Jamie Morris' touchdown is a Buddy's Pizza touchdown. Sends a free Buddy's Pizza to Linda Joslin of Mount Clement. Mike Gillette now to attempt the extra point. With 10.23 remaining in the third quarter, the snap from Wild placed down. Flags are... Oh, it wasn't a flag, it was confetti. The kick is up and good. I thought I saw a flag. No, the kick is good. Michigan's lead now 10 points. It's the Wolverines 20, Washington State 10. We'll pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Worry about Michigan kicks away from him. The kick high toward the far sideline, grabbed by Wood at the 5. And he's in trouble as he comes up to the 15 and goes down on the 16-yard line. Jim Washington State sent all the blockers to the left sideline. And Gillette's kick went to the right side. Now as he drops to throw on first down, fires near side. The ball is caught out at the 20-yard line by Calvin, and he is hit by Arnold and by Mallory. Goes down on the 22. He got about 
six yards. And for Washington State, second and three. Here's a quick toss out to Broussard. He's got it. He's hit immediately up around the 25 by Andre McIntyre and J.J. Grant. One setback. Calvin also comes in motion left. They'll flood that way. Rosenbaugh back in trouble. Is hit. Fumbles the ball. It's loose inside the 10. Herman dives. He can't get it. Cooper dives. I don't think he got it either. It looks like Washington State recovered back on the five-yard line. Oh, boy. John Herman nearly had himself a fumble inside the 10. Then Keith Cooper dove for it. And finally the center, Paul Wolf recovered way back on the five-yard line but Washington State has to kick it away from back there well the first real good pressure that Michigan was able to put on uh, the quarterback Rosenbaugh and it resulted in a very big play and almost a big turnover Warren waiting at the Cougars 43 Michigan will try to come after this one here they come the kick is away though it's a low one, a short one. It'll hit on the 38. Wellborn grabs it on one hop at the 45. Cuts up field, and there are eight Cougars there to maul him at the 37. Convert offensively. McMurtry split very, very wide to the right this time, and Brown gives the ball deep to Morris. He's going to sweep that way. McMurtry getting a block downfield on Hasty. Morris all the way to the 20-yard line. It'll be a pickup of some 17 yards for Jamie Morris sweeping the right side. Michigan picks up another first down. High formation for Webb and Morris. Here comes Morris on a trap up the middle. And the linebacker, Maury Metcalf, grabs him by the ankle and won't let go. Hauls him down on the 17 after a three-yard game. But short side to the right. Callaway out to the left. Webb and Jefferson in the eye. Handoff. Jefferson going left. And he is hit as he got to the 15. And down he goes. Only wide out. And Brown rolls to his right to throw. Got blockers in front of him. Fires in the end zone. Colazar goes down, and they really trap the ball. Oh, that was close. He had beaten Landrum. In fact, he turned him right around in the end zone and got free, even though he was the only wide receiver in the game. The ball thrown a little low, and Colazar tried to wrap his arms under it and couldn't do it. Mike Gillette to attempt a 32-yard field goal from the center of the field. Wild snap, placed down by Robbins. Kick is up. Plenty high, plenty long, and good. And Mike Gillette has hit his third field goal of the game from 32 yards. Michigan now leads it 23 to 10. We'll pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Back deep for Washington State, Stallworth and Wood. Here's the kick, a line drive shot. Wood goes back, it sails over his head, hits at the goal line, and goes through the end zone. And here it's 23-10 Michigan as Washington State goes on offense. They run the draw play to fullback Richard Calvin. He spins into the line, but Billy Harris is there with Messner and company, and they haul him down for no gain. Throw down the middle. It's intercepted by J.J. Grant on the 31. He heads to the right sideline to the 25, puts his shoulder down into one man, and then Rosenbaugh hauls him out of bounds on the 19. The Wolverines get their third turnover of the day, and what a big one it is as J.J. Grant, the linebacker out of Liverpool, New York, Runs it back 12 yards to the 18-yard line. And comes out first down on the 18. Morris running behind Bunch in the backfield. Two tight ends in. Colazar split left. Handoff. Jamie up the middle. Fullback lead from Bunch. He's down to the 15. At 23 to 10. They've completely dominated the third quarter. Out of the wishbone. Handoff to Morris. He runs into his own blocker. Hesitates a moment. Tries to cut off the block from Dave Chester. And advances the ball to the 12. Where he's tackled by... Artie Holmes and leading rusher. Third and four. Morris in the eye behind Bunch. Callaway in motion left. It's an option play and a fake to Bunch. And Brown's going to keep it. He's to the five. Cuts up. Field touchdown. Demetrius Brown. And Michigan leads it 29 to 10 on the 12-yard touchdown run by Demetrius Brown. He scores his first touchdown as a collegian to put Michigan ahead by 19. Great job on the corner by John Colasar also. That cornerback was so worried about Colasar in a pattern that he was nose to nose with him. And really, Colasar just did a great job of blocking him. And that allowed Brown to get into the end zone. Mike Gillette to attempt the extra point. Michigan has completely dominated the third quarter. Gillette trying to tack on their 17th point of the period. Snap placed down by Robbins. Kick is up, and it's good. 4.35 to go in the third quarter. It's Michigan 30, Washington State 10 as we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. 
Mike Gillette to kick it off now. The boot sailing down to Victor Wood on the 7. He heads up field to the 10, over the 15, out to the 20. Hassel trying to jump over the blockers, finally does, and hauls down Victor Wood on the 23. The quarterback Tim Rosenbaugh shouting something out to his three receivers split left. Misdirection play, hand off to Calvin, trying to sweep right. Cooper out there. And the linebacker for Michigan, and uh, Keith Cooper, Seeing his first real action from scrimmage, hauls down Calvin after a gain of about four to the 27. Along with Broussard and Wood, in motion right goes Calvin, and a fumbled snap by Rosenboy. Dives forward underneath the center, Paul Wolf, and it looks like he's got it back right at the 27. Rosenbaugh back on third down, standing in there, now runs out. Being chased by McIntyre and Harris, cuts up field to the 25, and they're going to haul him down short of a first down as David Arnold came up, and McIntyre came from behind to haul down Rosenball after only a two-yard gain. The punt it to Colazar, gets the snap, no pressure, hits a floater toward the near sideline. Colazar comes over, grabs it as he steps out of bounds in front of the Michigan bench on the 34. Demetrius Brown out of the wishbone, drops the throw, and he's going to go deep. Post corner route, Colazar makes a leaping catch and slides to the ground out of bounds at the Washington State 37-yard line. Well, they were going to single cover both wide outs anyway pretty much all day because they were so concerned of stopping the run. Colasar has burned them badly on a couple of occasions. This time, Frank, you called it. He Jim. And it's a fake to Morris. Brown back to throw, getting pressure on a blitz from the linebacker. He's running way back to his own 40. He's standing back there being chased by four men. Sets up a couple of blocks, gets to midfield. Now throws. Oh, and Callaway dives, but can't get it on the 15-yard line. And a flag is thrown, and they may have roughed Demetrius Brown after the pass. And they did. What a play by the sophomore out of Miami Beach, Florida. Love that. Uh, I know there's one guy that doesn't love it. His name is Shem Beckler. <laughs> Ulu Nauno and finally got loose, got a couple of blocks set up, heaved the ball. Callaway nearly caught it. I'll tell you what, the kid creates some excitement one way or the other. Those are three catches, 104 yards this afternoon. First down on the 21. I formation. Here's a handoff to Morris, and he is absolutely mauled back there by Chris Hiller to the play, out of the wishbone, handoff, Jamie Morris coming right, makes a great move around Hasty. high steps it over two men, inside the 10 to the 7 before free safety Artie Holmes could haul him down and save a touchdown. 16 yards for Jamie Morris, and he is now to 97 yards in 21 carries. Out of the wishbone, Brown runs option right, fakes the bunch, keeps it himself and pays for it as Hasty makes the hit at the six-yard line. Jefferson is in, but the handoff to Webb out of the wishbone. Webb fighting down to the one, fights off two tacklers, and he went down just before the goal line. Well, I can't believe they didn't give him the touchdown, Frank. He was in half his body in the end zone, but referee, the linesman rolled, the knee went down on about the one-foot line, and that's where they'll call it. A statistician, Marty Hallis, pointing out as the Wolverines send Jamie back in to replace Alan Jefferson. In this third quarter, Michigan has 10 first downs and 17 points. Washington State has been shot out in both categories. Third and goal from the one-foot line. Demetrius Brown with everybody jammed in tight. Out of the wishbone, gives to Jamie. He slides under the pile and in for a touchdown. Jamie Morris goes over for the second time this afternoon. And with 14 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Michigan leads it 36 to 10. And Jamie's second touchdown is a Buddy's Pizza touchdown. Sends a free Buddy's Pizza to Ken Gignotti of Detroit. A Buddy's Touchdown Buddy. You want to be a Buddy's Touchdown Buddy, fill out an entry blank at any of the Detroit area Buddy's Pizza restaurants. Mike Gillette to attempt the extra point now out of the hole to Monty Robbins. The ball snapped back, placed down. The kick is up, and it is good. Michigan 37, Washington State 10, and we pause for these words on the Michigan football net. Kick it off now. Michigan with 24 points in this quarter. The kick comes to Stallworth at the 11, up the center of the field, out over the 20 to the 25, and he's all down there by Sean LaFontaine, who's making a name for himself on the special teams this afternoon. He's done a whale of a job. Calvin, the only setback in motion. That means four wideouts, nobody in the backfield. Rosenbaugh back, fires it up the sideline. That's Calvin, the fullback who is in motion, who makes the catch. 
is tackled by Campbell as he crossed the 35 to the 38. Susan Vaughn, second down, dropping to throw. Standing in there. Has time, goes deep down the far sideline, and it is incomplete at the 30. I'll tell you what, Calvin went up and had it and was absolutely drilled. Just drilled back there by Anthony Mitchell and Eric Campbell, and he couldn't hold it. 24 third quarter points to make it 37-10. Rosenball back to throw. He's getting pressure, rolling out to his right. Hit from behind by McIntyre. They'll roll him down. He tried to throw it from his knees, but Andre McIntyre will get a sack on the 27, and Washington State will have to punt it away. Two men off the line, no pressure. And the kick is away, and this is Meyer's best of the day. Colazar going back, grabs it on his own 29. Heads up the right side. Eludes one man at the 40. Cuts to his right. Tripped up as he headed to the sideline. He's still got over the 45 and out to the 49 or 50-yard strike. Good run back as John Colazar nearly broke it away. A 43-yard punt, and Phil Garabedian saved the touchdown. Four out of eight. Complete four out of eight. One interception. Hands it to Jefferson. Coming right. He's necktied by the middle linebacker. Alapote as he crossed midfield got about three. Look, handoff goes to the fullback bunch straight up the middle. He plows forward to the 47 or 46 and back goes Taylor setting up screen left fires to Jefferson batted down at the line by the charging Tony Savage and that'll bring up fourth down and Michigan will have to kick it away. Just getting a chance to play. Monty Robbins to punt. Gets the snap and no pressure and hangs it high and hits it long. Stallworth calling fair catch but lets it hit over his head on the eighth and goes into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. We're going to pause right here. 15 seconds for station identification on the Michigan football net. Rosenbaugh with two setbacks for one of the few times today. Drops the throw, getting pressure from behind. Fires down the middle. The ball goes off the hands of his tight end, Leighton. Knocks off the cap of the umpire, Ed Hassel, and falls incomplete. <laughs> now, the ball was behind the tight end, and uh, I think Hassel was more surprised than anything that the ball was not thrown on target. Rosenbaugh has been throwing it pretty well, uh, except for the second half. Well, the Michigan defense done a great job of shutting down Leighton. He caught seven balls in the first half, none since. Handoff goes straight up the middle, and J.J. Grant reacts quickly to haul down the fullback Richard Calvin after a gain of five minutes to play. Rosenbaugh brings his team up third down and five and drops the throw standing in there. There's Leighton. He fired it over the middle to him on a quick pop and the tight end is up to the 35 maybe the 36 yard line. <laughs> there you have a close up view of a Washington State fan as quarterback Tim Rosenbaugh rifles it down the middle to William Pelham. He hauls it in and goes down with a first down at the Michigan 46 goes Calvin. One setback at Swinton and back to throw is Rosenbaugh. Swings it out right side to Wellsamp, a tight end. He makes a great move, cutting it inside of Siebert. Cuts up inside the 40 to the 39, a pickup of seven. Run it. They hand it to Broussard, coming left, and he is fighting forward down near that first down marker. J.J. Grant and McIntyre hit him. 32 to go. Michigan leading it by a score of 37 to 10. They can. First and 10 at the Michigan 33-yard line. And back to throw Rosenball. He fires near side over the head of Calvin. <laughs> Calvin came down and tried to protect himself. And I'll tell you what, David Arnold really unloaded on him. It's a hard spot. Back to throw Rosenball, getting some pressure. He squirts out of there, though, rolling to his right. He fires on the run in the end zone, and he's got his man, Victor Wood, for a touchdown. Well, they ruled he did not run over the line of scrimmage. It was very, very close, and Rosenbaugh delivered it on the run for the TD of 33 yards to Victor Wood. And the Cougars of Washington State are back on the board at 37-16. 7-16, 10-14 left in the game. You have three men split to the left now. And Rosenbaugh's going to run it to the right. He'll toss back on the option, and Calvin gets in for two. Richard Calvin, the fullback, the trailing man on the option, ran it across. So now with 10-14 to go, it's Michigan 37, Washington State 18. And we'll pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Michael Taylor at quarterback for Michigan has an eye formation behind him. Turns, gives the ball to his uh, tailback, and that's Jefferson. He pushed to the middle at the 45, and look at him go. They'll never catch the sprinter out of De La Salle. Allen Jefferson goes 70 yards straight up the middle for his first collegiate touchdown what a first and then once Jefferson got through the line and broke a tackle he just put the afterburners on and 
added more yardage to that gap between himself and the Cougar defenders. What a burst. What a burst and what balance because when he came through the line, he got into the secondary and a guy hit him and he knocked him down just a little bit. But he was able to gather himself and regain balance. Oh so quickly and then just absolutely burned away from everybody else. You have just seen a glimpse of the future my friends. Alan Jefferson 62205 out of Warren D. LaSalle. The two time Mansfield relay champion in the 100 meter dash at 10.4 and 10.3 the best times down there since the legendary Jesse Owens. And he showed some of that speed. Gillette adds the extra point, and Michigan leads it 44 to 18. Michigan has blown this one wide open here in the second half. The Wolverines led it 13 to 10 at the intermission. They scored 24 points in the third quarter, and now Jefferson's 70 yard touchdown run ups that lead to 44 18. That's it. Moves forward and boots it away. Gets it high. Stallworth grabs it on the five, heads up the middle, gets some blocking out to the 20, and then he's cut down. J.J. Grant was out there. Tim, nine minutes, less than that now remaining in the game, and here's the misdirection play, and the handoff going to Broussard. Broussard's in trouble back there. Cooper got through, and that's Keith Cooper, the linebacker, who hauls him down for a loss with plenty of help from John Willingham. And that was a real smart play by Cooper. Cooper was the man on the backside, and you call it a misdirection play, but Cooper stayed home. And back to throw goes the quarterback, Rosenbaum. He delivers it down the middle with flags down the ball, caught by Wellsamp, the tight end. He's breaking tackles down the left sideline. 20, 15, he's hit from behind inside the 10 and ridden out of bounds at the three-yard line. Finally, by David Key, but as we said, there was a flag down, and Washington State has got another big play called back because of a penalty. By penalty. Third and 17 now from the 37. Rosenbaugh's back to throw. Four-man rush, but he's got time. Goes down the middle, incomplete. Did a little bit low for Stallworth. It was covered, believe it or not, by a linebacker, Keith Cooper, and he was with him step for step. He's averaged 40 yards on his previous seven. Michigan coming through. Myers kicks it away, hangs it high, a little short. Wellborn makes the grab at the 32 and goes down almost immediately as the defensive player for Washington State came up to necktie him. And he turns, fakes the ball, gives it rather to Bunch, the fullback, on the first option going to his right. And Bunch fights forward over the 35, out to the 37-yard line. Williams, the sophomore out of Sarasota, is in that backfield. And Taylor's going to run the option right this time on the wishbone. He's run out of bounds around the 38, middle of the wishbone. And Taylor's going to drop the throw. He's looking near side, and he's throwing the ball for the freshman. Wellborn, it's going to be intercepted on a diving effort by Sean Landrum, who just ran Wellborn down first, shoved him out of the way, and then dove and made the interception. We've got a flag down, and, you know, Washington State doesn't like it, but there's as obvious an interference call as you're ever going to see. Formation now, and a handoff to Jefferson. He comes up the middle with a burst of speed down to the 40, and he's hit by James Hasty and hauled down at the 35 or 34, but there is a flag down on the play. Some injuries early. Playing that strong side guard right now. After the walk-off for holding, uh, Michigan goes to work, and on a draw play, Jefferson stumbles and falls as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Six and a half minutes to go. Michigan 44, Washington State 18. How uh, well born, starting in motion, and now we've got Washington State jumping offside. They've been drawn off, though, over there. Tight end Keith Mitchell did move. Marlon Brown, a backup defensive end, jumped all over the Michigan lineman. The Cougars are indicating it's illegal motion. It's a chance to update you on the scoreboard with Rich Kincaid. Tries to reverse his field, goes down at the 33, stumbling as he tried to go back. He'll lose four yards. Formation, Callaway split left, yeah, well-born right. Taylor back to throw, gives on a draw play. Up the middle comes Jefferson to the 38-yard line for five yards. Worth the cousin of the Steeler great John Stoll. Robbins gets the snap. Here comes some pressure, but Michigan picks it up, and Robbins absolutely bombs one out of there. Stallworth back to his own 10, where he called for a fair catch. That punt is good for 52 yards. And Baugh scrambles for eight yards on first down for Washington State out to the 18. Now he hands the ball to his fullback, Richard Calvin, up the middle, and he Rosenbaugh with no backs in there, drops to throw. 
two-man rush, no pressure, throws, juggling, grabbed by Broussard at the 40-yard line, caught it one-handed while going down. In the short corner, LaFontaine wide. Rosenbaugh back, throws, it caught by the tight end, Wellsand, as the linebacker, Bobby Abrams, fell down. Wellsand up the sideline, up to the 49-yard line. For Rosenbaugh back to throw again. Here's the blitz from Willingham. He's hit as he throws, and the ball is somehow caught by the tight end, Wellsand, who was covered like a blanket by Milligan. And Rosenbaugh's all right. Well, he got hit by Willingham. And Swinton in motion to the right. Rolls to throw. Fires it to Swinton in the right flat. He's got it. Hit immediately by Hassel. Left on third and one. He tosses it to Swinton. And Swinton cuts up field. First down inside the 35. Down to the 31. He's boy's going to run it. Being chased from behind by Willingham. And he gets to the sideline. Steps out of bounds at around the 30 after a two-yard gain. In motion goes... Calvin and Rosenbaugh drops to throw. He fires. Crossing route caught by Pelham. And Pelham falls down at the Michigan 20. Elmer Thomas, a junior out of Dallas, Texas. And now is the final score. Stalwart's foot left. Wood to the right. Back to throw is Rosenbaugh again. He pumps once. Now he's running around back there. He throws on the run in the end zone. And it's intercepted by Rick Hassel. And the Wolverines get it back one more time. And Rosenbaugh... Walks off the field frustrated after trying to thread a needle and having Rick Hassel make a great diving interception. Michigan running out of the wishbone from its own 20 with 119 to go. And Michael Taylor runs option right, tosses it back late to Jefferson. There he goes up the sideline, 30, 40, puts his shoulder down into the defensive back Motown as he crosses midfield. And Allen Jefferson is out of bounds at the 46 of Washington State. Give it eye. Well, that's what the option can do for you. Get outside and you attack the corner, and if you've got one guy out there to defend against two, and you get the pitch to Jefferson, you're going to get some yardage because he's... It's quite a debut. Taylor runs option right, going to keep it himself this time, fights forward to the 41. Wishbone formation, hands the ball to Jefferson, and this time he ran into the tackle, Tim Downing, and it's all down right at the line of scrimmage. Alan Jefferson has never carried the ball in a Michigan game before today. And he has burst onto the scene with 119 yards and a 70-yard touchdown. And this crowd erupting now with two seconds left, the clock running. And that is it. This ball game is over. The Wolverines have bounced back from that season-opening loss to Notre Dame, blowing this one open with... A 31-point outburst in the second half to Barry Washington State by a final count of 44 to 18. Let's go down to Warren Pierce. Jamie, great game. You uh, passed the uh, fourth position now in the all-time rushing record. A lot different from last week, Jamie. Uh, it was a lot different, but, you know, we got ready for this game. We practiced uh, three times this week, you know, very hard. Monday started off, but, you know, we still got it. We still got a ways to go. What was the difference at halftime? Uh, certainly there was a change. You came out and scored all those points in the third quarter. Made the adjustments. You know, the coaches made the right adjustments. We just came out and executed. And you had to be happy, too, for your teammate, Alan Jefferson. Uh, Alan Jefferson has been improving all year. He's going he's gonna to get better each game. He's getting better. He just showed his stuff right here, but he's still got more to show. All right, Jamie, thanks a lot. Thank you. Jamie Morris, Frank, now, as you well know, fourth place in the all-time University of Michigan rushing record as the uh, Washington State and University of Michigan team now file through where I am. We've been walking across the field and into the tunnel, and still this stadium filled with very happy U of M fans, the uh, Cougars the first time a loss this season, and Michigan a first time win. All right, Warren, thank you very much for your excellent work once again. We're going to pause right here for 15 seconds. Station identification on the Michigan football. All right, not too bad here. 44 to 18, a good win. That's the, that's the way we like it. A lot better than that Notre Dame came a week ago. Uh, to anyone watching this, and I know that you, Dr. Ed Lentz, who recruited Jimmy Morris, is feeling great because this was definitely a Jimmy Morris football game. And to Bill Bozinski and all the guys in Korea serving in our armed forces overseas who are seeing this tape, I hope you like this one a lot better than last week's Notre Dame game. We'll see you back here at the Michigan Stadium next week for Michigan against Long Beach State. It's a different kind of a team, but it could be an interesting game here. From the hole that Joe's dug, Canem Carpeted, and Bo Schembechler fills up every week, I'm Art Volo at the University of Michigan.